noise. Let's make some serious noise here. Hey, Mark Steiner here again. Um, it's been so long since I've done a, a video, and so tonight I decided to do a video. Um, we're featuring the Schwimmen DMF2 and the Res4. So we've got two great filters here. One of them's a double filter, one of them is four filters. Um, what's really cool about having more than one filter is you can use white noise as a pitched instrument. So first we're going through the Res 4 and we're going through just one of its filters. It's a bandpass filter. And we're... If we have no resonance, we just have a lot of white noise. But the more, more we turn that resonance, the more we get a pitch. And you get a sine wave eventually. And it's nice. And this kind of a patch works for a keyboard or a sequencer or a wind instrument like this. I love pitched noise sounds, kind of like that theme on the X Files that you hear. Um, well, so let's watch this part. So when I bite, I'm adding portamento or glide to the pitch at different rates. So I can bite down on this mouthpiece nice and hard, and it's going to keep that pitch that I'm playing, but if I let go of it, then it's going to slip out at different rates. So we actually have continuously changing portamento. And it's great with an instrument like this, it's awesome. But it's also a good thing to remember, a lot of people don't change portamento over time. So your sequencer could be changing portamento as it goes, stuff like that. But anyway, it makes this kind of wind instrument. This is a new EVI, really fun. Especially with white noise or pitched noise, because it's you like to have that wind blowing around. And I've got pinch bend also on here for it. The pitch is controlled actually by the uh, the filter here, the bandpass filter of the Res 4. Um, the filter cutoff when the resonance is that high is actually what makes the noise. Oh, I'm sorry, what makes the pitch. <laughs> And what's one of the great things about all, all the Swyman modules is that they are uh, they're they're very accurate to where you're dialing it into the input settings. So we have a really good one volt per octave, so we get a good pitch on this. And that sign is, um, well, and to tell you about the rest of the patch, there's not much more to it. So that's kind of the oscillator. We got white noise going into the Res 4, and then 
after that's done, we're actually putting it into the DMF2, just a one channel on a low pass filter. And that's just so that when I blow into it, it's giving it dynamics. That filter is, is uh, virtually closed. It's closing off the white noise. Um, <clears throat> but if I blow in this, it opens up that filter. And so that's what's making the sound. Uh, and you don't hear a whole lot of pitched noise because a lot of people, well, a lot of, a lot of synths just don't have filters that go in, in a, a series like that. And a lot of people don't fashion it to do so. Simple to do though, and I love it. And it's very beautiful. And what I like more than this uh, high resonance sine wave, I like to turn down the resonance so that we're barely perceiving a pitch. So there's the sign to barely, I'm in the middle there, barely perceiving a pitch, all the way down to living in too much. So I like to get just on that threshold where I can be melodic and it's so pretty. Just letting the air out of the tire, just at the right size hole there to be melodic. And then one more item here on this mouthpiece. There's a little sensor right here. And uh, well, I'm going to blow into this so you can see it. And when I put my lip up to that, I can make that do different things to the sound. All kinds of things, however you want to patch it. So lots of fun there. So let's bring that, you're gonna hear an effect come in and it's just that I'm pushing it closer to that controller right there. Okay, here it goes. I love doing stuff like that. You can even be musical with weird sci-fi stuff like that. And sensitive. A little bit of a puzzle going on here. All that's doing, that lip sensor is like, it's basically like turning up a modwell. In fact, it's sending MIDI modwell and then into the analog synth. So, what's controlling the speed of the uh, LFO? It's actually bringing in LFO. It's doing the depth of the LFO. But I can do the speed at, at wide or shallow depths. So what's, what that is, it's modulating the modulator, and it's one of the best things about modular synthesis. What it, so to be more specific, um, 
when I'm not pressing on that controller that brings in the mod wheel, there's no LFO going on at all. Um, but the whole time, the LFO is actually the speed of the F LFO is being controlled by my breath. You just never notice that until we sweep it in. So the harder I blow, now if you listen, you can be able to discern that. The harder I blow, the faster the LFO. So let's um, do some non-breath control application with this. It's the exact same patch. And uh, I've got a Korg SQ1 and let's uh, do some sequencing with it. And I love this stuff. Where the SQ1 sequencer, these knobs, it's sending different amounts of what the breath was, which was opening the filter and then also the pitch.
Thanks so much for uh, hanging in there and joining me and have a great night. <laughs>